Hello guys, today I'm going to uh, show you how to download Scratch and how to use it. Scratch is a program that you can use to uh, make sprites and make them do just about whatever you want. I'm still kind of new to this, but I've messed around with it for a little while and I know uh, a few ins and outs. So uh, download whichever operating system you're on and f install it and uh, whenever you open it it'll start you out with this white screen and sprite one now uh, the first thing you want to do is go up to the top where it has uh, sprite one's name and change it to mister cat or whatever you want him to be named i'm just gonna make it that for now so uh, you guys know what i'm referring to All right. the next thing you want to do is go back down here where it has uh, mister cat and stage and click stage and go to backgrounds and paint a new background Okay, I'm going to keep it simple and make it just a flat grassy area. You guys can make it whatever you want. Because this is kind of boring, but uh, it's fast and all I need for now. And let's make a sun. And a sky. There we go. <laughs> That's my background good enough right okay and whenever you have your background done whatever you may have made uh, you can drag mr. cat to the bottom uh, so he's not floating in the air and uh, when you've done that click on his sprite actually no wait not that yet go to new sprite and paint a new sprite uh, I'm going to show you today how to make mr. cat bounce off a brick wall And here is our brick wall. You don't have, again. You don't have to make it a brick wall. You can make it whatever you want. But uh, just for the purpose of demonstration, it's a brick wall. <laughs> now, if you, I think that if you wanted to, you could actually put this in the background instead of actually making it a sprite. But for now, that works. In fact, I'm gonna drag it over here to kind of shorten things a bit. Alright, so now you want to click on Mr. Cat, and if you go to costumes, you can see that he has two costumes. That'll be important later. Alright, we're going to start off by uh, dragging any one of these three scripts. Uh, when flag is clicked, when spacebar is pressed, or when Mr. Cat is clicked. Any one of those three works, but I prefer when spacebar is pressed, so I don't have to use the mouse for anything. Alright and drag that to the top left of the scripts area uh, just to keep it organized and now go back to control and uh, the forever script which will make it repeat uh, endlessly obviously by the name <laughs> and now uh, let me think what was next alright go to motion and drag the move 10 steps inside of the forever bracket thing except change the 10 steps to 20 because it's that's not all that much oh <laughs> here I'll shut uh, stop okay there we go here I'll show you how much 20 steps is no wrong one this one each one of those is 20 steps okay, gonna drag him back to the beginning and move 20 back into the forever bracket and now you want to go to looks and uh, drag next costume under move, move 20 steps which will make him shift costumes and uh, this is what we have so far oh wrong one pretty much just sprinting across the screen but uh, now he's not bouncing off the brick wall and he's moving way too fast obviously so now you'll want to go to, let me think, where would that be under, alright, uh, yeah, control, and drag wait one second up into the forever area, except change, if you want change point, uh, one second to point five seconds, because it's a bit faster, and uh, now he won't sprint across the screen, but he'll still go kind of fast. And as you can see, he still goes through the brick wall, and that's a problem. So we'll stop that. 
Okay. Um, right, now we're going to want to make him bounce off the brick wall. So now go back to control, and you'll have to scroll down a bit, and uh, go to if, or drag the if to the bottom, and go to sensing, and yeah, touching, uh, and it has a drop down menu, and uh, make the drop down menu brick wall, and drag that script into the top area of if, so now it should look like this, like really extended. And there's still an empty space in if, and we're gonna have to fill that. So, uh, let me think. I forgot what I was about to say. Ah, right. So go back to motion, and it doesn't matter which one of these you want. Uh, you use. Uh, drag the turn 15 degrees and change it to 180. Oh right, this is an important part. Go up to where it has Mr. Cat and make him only able to face left or right. We don't want him spinning, just left or right. Alright, so now we have all the basics. Now he'll go across the screen, he won't just sprint through it, he will turn around whenever he hits that wall, but he doesn't stop. He just keeps going, and going, and going, and he gets stuck in the wall. So we're going to stop. Uh, rotate him back to 90. have to have a very steady hand to... There we go, to get just right. And drag him back to the edge, of course. And uh, finally, we're going to go back to control... No, wait, motion and select if on edge bounce and drag that note up to the very to the very bottom all right and finally we're going to click the green flag nope if you use the green flag uh, we're going to click switch to presentation mode and start it and voila there's your finished project project bounces off the brick wall and turns around Alright, uh, see you guys next time. Uh, I might make more of these, and uh, I'll definitely be doing the Nodiatus HPing video today, so stay tuned for both of those. Uh, if I do decide to continue making these, I might make a Pong tutorial, but uh, I've been told that that's kind of complicated. So see you guys next time.